Hi, my name is Sadia and I work for Pharmacy Prep under the direction of Dr. Mezba Beabani. Today I am here to tell you about one of the exams which is known as OSCE. OSCE stands for Objective Structured Clinical Examination and as we all have been through the qualifying exam part 1, mostly most of us, so that is part 1 was the multiple choice question part and we all have the knowledge with which we have implemented by answering the multiple choice questions in form of bubbling the correct answers. The comparison between qualifying exam part 1 and part 2 is that there you have like bubble the answer and here you have to implement that knowledge which you gain through MCQ in form of communication. Communication either with the patient or with any healthcare professional whoever is in front of you. So this is basically the difference between part 1 and part 2 of the qualifying examination. Now, if you ask me what is OSCE, so honestly speaking, my answer will be OSCE is majorly about the listening component. Yes, you hear it right. It is about listening. Talking comes later on. The basic part is the listening part. For example, if you are in the OSCE station, you will start the station and the patient or healthcare professional will come in and they will start talking to you after a brief greeting. So this is the part where you have to keep your ears focused on what they are trying to tell you because there are the hidden clues which will try you to figure it out what the station is all about. So keep your ears on and try to pick up those points. They will give you all relevant and irrelevant information or it is your responsibility to segregate that relevant and irrelevant information. After all that part, you will gather the information from the patient or a doctor and for that gathering information, again, you have to keenly listen what they are trying to give you the information about. Now, you can make certain mnemonic or design a structure which we can talk about later on as well so that you don't forget to ask the important questions. Once you are asking the questions and they are telling you the answers, just write them down in a small note. So, and if you think like that is a certain point which has to be highlighted in a later on conversation, so you can highlight it or circle that part so you won't forget it. Because if you will not note it down, so I can bet you more or later like you can forget it in a flow of the station. Now, after gathering information, then you can analyze and sort out the case before reaching up to the reference because in the reference there there is a huge book and you have to sort out what you have to look upon so once you are into your reference so you should have in your mind the keys which you which you have to look from the reference so see before reaching up to the reference listening was the major component once you have reached to the reference and you sorted out the case and your answer is in your mind just make a little bit structure and then start talking to the patient I mentioned the word talking to the patient, not only just giving the information. Talking means talk patient at your ease, so like the patient or doctor in front of you may feel that you are a professional pharmacist and you are talking at their ease, so that they can keenly listen to you and they are eager to listen to you and they can pay attention what you are trying to give the information about. So this is just a brief overview of your OSCE station. After that, once you're done with the giving information part, then follow up with the patient or doctor and then close the station by a good greeting. So this will give the station the solution and the outcome part. So always try to focus that you finish the station along with the solution and with the proper outcome. So here you can see that Regarding OSCE exam, it is a multi-task exam and for this you have to keep all your senses on. So this is all about what is OSCE exam.